Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Terry. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. I'm just going to be doing a reading for Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. <coughs> All right. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, these are all the cards that fell, that fell out while I was shuffling. And there really is a, a, a story here, Scorpio, but... All right, let's get into it. I feel like, Scorpio, that in your past that, um, you know, you made a lot of changes within yourself, Scorpio. And, and I'm going to tell you now that there's a nine-year cycle that has ended for you, okay? And uh, when that nine-year cycle came to an end, everything changed. Everything changed. Um, possibly where you lived changed. Possibly the people around you changed. Possibly that you you changed your job. Um, and your spirit guides also changed. Okay. And uh, with the spirit guides changing, they, they became more powerful spirit guides that were sent to you to, to stop something from pursuing any further, to be honest with you, okay? All right, so what I feel like is that you may have had a connection with somebody that you absolutely loved, okay? Um, you had a lot of time for this person. You uh, felt like that you and this person were very well connected to each other. Um, down here, we've got soulmate connection. All right, but I do feel that this person may have been connected to somebody else. All right, and I may have feel Scorpio that you may have discovered some sort of message that came through on this person's phone, or a message that they sent you caused you to rethink the situation, or either things that they were saying to you did not make sense. Okay. I feel like whenever you ask this person what they were doing and they said, I'm with a friend, that you knew that that friend was somebody that was a sexual connection to this person, okay? Um, because, you know, if you read between the lines, which you do, Scorpio, you know, like if you ask somebody, oh, who are you with? Oh, I'm with so-and-so. They will mention that person's name. But the minute this person doesn't want to mention a name and says they're with a friend, you already know that friend is of the opposite sex, okay? So there was a lot of things that this person started to say into Scorpio that did not make sense to you, okay? And I feel like that you decided that you were going to throw some questions out to this person because I feel like that they were keeping distance from you as well, Scorpio, they weren't giving you time, attention, or communicating the way they used to with you anymore, okay? So I kind of feel like um, if this person is in a connection with somebody uh, of a marriage, because I've got a mature man, a mature woman, the marriage and the house, that they're in that connection um, because of possibly greed, okay? And possibly because um, you know, there's stability, there's home, but they want to behave like they're single, okay? Um, I have the court card here, Scorpio. This marriage is not going to last, all right? Um, it is going to end in, in a divorce, and it is also going to bring in a very big change. Now, that doesn't mean that this person is going to gravitate towards you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like they have a number of opportunities. We've got the lovers here. All right um i feel that uh i feel that this person had a very close connection to you like you came very very close scorpio like i feel like they do still have a lot of love for you um but at the same time scorpio that they are connecting with other people and i know you scorpio you're not gonna you're not gonna fight for time and space in somebody's life okay um I see you moving on. I see you moving on and I see you forming other connections and I see that you will have um, a, quite a few choices. Um, 
you and this person are uh, very much a mirror of, of each other, but I feel with you, Scorpio, that you're a little bit more um, careful and private in what you do, whereas this person is a little bit reckless. Like, I don't know who they're married to, but uh, if she hasn't caught on to this yet, you know, I don't know the reason why she she's staying where she is because it, it's very clear and, it, and it's written all over this person's face, ego, pride, um, you know, player. <laughs> it's pretty much written all over this per person's face and yet between you and this person, Scorpio, I feel like there's, there's this connection between you is that there seems to be this understanding of each other, but at the same time, you don't like the way that this person started treating you. So I feel like there has been a, a disconnect between you and this person. You both went your separate ways. I feel like a lot of um, words were spoken, a lot of lies, a lot of secrets, a lot of betrayal. Okay. And um, you won't stand for that, Scorpio. You know, even if you were the third party, you were still basically you know protecting this person or playing your part or not overstepping your line you know um but you and this person did fall in love you did you fell in love with each other and they were very tender to you and they missed the connection between you but you feel scorpio that um they could they could have a repeated pattern with you if they came back okay we got over here, this person was working out of ego and pride and having sexual arts with other people. They were in their wild side, they, they were wild, Scorpio. They just, you know, wanted to just sleep with others, you know, and um, have this ego boost, constant ego boost, okay? They self-sabotaged the, the connection, Scorpio. Even though that they had love for you, um, the mask eventually fell off because you're a good reader, Scorpio. You read in between the lines. You you read people's faces. You you listen to what is being said. You, it doesn't make sense to you, you know, to you. And um, you know the signs. You know the signs. And you know the signs of this person's action because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. They do the same thing all the time. I kind of feel, Scorpio, that, you know, uh, your spirit guides may have stepped in, Okay. Um, and they may have stepped in to protect you from, from all this Scorpio even though like I can hear your spirit guide saying we know you love this person we know you love this person but this person is not good for you we're going to send you somebody better somebody that you can have a connection with and a possible marriage with somebody you can share a home with somebody you can come home to you know somebody you can you can talk to because I feel like there's no communication between you and this person, even though that that this person is a soulmate to you. Um, but I'm hearing your spirit guides saying somebody better is coming. Be patient. Okay. This person left a hole in your heart, Scorpio, and the hardest thing you had to do was let go of this person. But you started to realize that they never meant what they said. And um, it may have been a one-sided connection. Maybe it was just you that um, was in love and they were acting this way to every other person that came into their life, every other woman or man that um, came towards them. So there was a lot of sadness here with the hole in the heart, Scorpio, and I feel like that you may have you may have got messages through dreams that this was coming to an end or they were sleeping with other people, um, you know, and I kind of feel that um, the decision that you made, Scorpio, was not an easy decision, okay? You decided that you had to take charge of your life and you deserve better and you put self-love back into yourself and, um, you know possibly focused on, on, on your work and your, st you know, your stability and, you know, try to bring balance within yourself, okay? Because I feel like you were stuck for a long time, Scorpio, and this is a person from your past that we're talking about, okay? And if they're not in their in the past, but, you know, 
they will be <laughs> well yeah I think a lot of truth came to the surface for you Scorpio um, that you started to see the truth in this situation you started to see that this person um, you know may have uh, had other choices you may have known who the other choices are or you may have known who the other person was it could have been a friend it could have been a friend of theirs um, but you have an inclination to who this other person is and I kind of feel that makes you sick Scorpio I do I feel like it makes you sick and I feel like that this person is not proud of what they've done and I feel that they um, you know they know that they've lost you um, you know too much time is sort of like passed in this situation Scorpio um, you you made a decision to release a heavy burden okay so you know you were offering this person your cup of love um, but they looked at all the other opportunities that was in front of them. They may have done things out of drunken, toxic behavior. And, um, you know, while you were waiting, you were waiting for them, Scorpio. And uh, they certainly went off in a different direction, okay? Um, this person may want to come in and speak some truth to you, Scorpio, but... At the same time, it's like you can't trust this. You may still have feelings for this person, but you just feel like you just need to keep moving on because you know they're going to come back in and then the connection is going to just disconnect because this person cannot control their behavior, okay? So, you know, you're getting off this uh, roller coaster ride, Scorpio. Yeah, they, they they went cold towards you, Scorpio. They went very cold towards you. You went from this passionate, passionate moment to to this coldness, to not being able to communicate uh, a word or two, nothing to say. They may have blocked you, but you'll find you'll find out soon that this person has unblocked you, Scorpio. All right. Yeah. Look, they. You need, I'm feeling you're the one that needs to make some choices here. Because I do feel that, Scorpio, that you're going to have a choice of two people. A new person that's going to come into your life. You might meet this person at a party, at an event, um, some sort of social gathering. Okay? And um, you will connect with this person because this person is taking so long to come back into your life. You will connect to, to this person. And then when the connection is formed, I don't know what this person wants from you right now, but there is a connection that's going to be formed. And then you get your past person that comes back because they realize they're going to lose you. Okay. Uh, well, I said I didn't know what this person wanted, this new person, but they want the Ten of Cups with you, Scorpio. Wow. <laughs> This new person wants the Ten of Cups with you, Scorpio. They want to go the full distance with you. They want marriage. They want commitment. They they want to be with you, Scorpio. All right? I feel like this person is financially stable. Mm. Yeah, this past person who blocked you or set barriers with you, you now have a magnifying glass that you can clearly see a bigger picture okay you can clearly see a bigger picture um this new person wants the nine of cups with you and the ten of cups or when the past person comes in you may go from the ten of cups to the nine of cups because you're taking one step back and thinking am i making the right decision here so I think you need to look very, very closely into your cup, Scorpio. You know, it's a matter of who's going to put in the effort, who's going to love you more, who's going to be the, you know, the passionate one with you, all right? Mm. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles here, the Sun card, and the Empress. I feel that intuitively you know which direction to go. Um, things are going to be illuminated to you, 
Scorpio. Um, you know, there is a sense of like rediscovering yourself with this new person who brings back your happiness, your energy, your light. Um, you know, it makes you um, feel happy all over again where um, this past person really switched off the light in you. Okay, it took, it's taking you a long time to recover. Um, even though that you're, you're, you're out, you're doing things and that, there's a sense of you losing some sort of light about you, Scorpio. You know, that energy that used to draw people your way. That energy that used to just shine out of you. It's, it's been dimmed. I feel like this new person is going to switch the light back on for you, Scorpio, okay? Um, you know, you're over the sticky behavior, you're over the, the player ways, you're over feeling tired, mentally tied and trapped, um, you know, you're over the blockages. This new person is, is looking really good right now, okay? This past person can't stop thinking about you. They have a lot of regrets for their manipulating ways, you know, trying to control a situation. Yeah, there's no communication here. Like there's a lack of communication. The passion may be, still be there. They may come in just for a sexual connection, but you can have the Ten of Cups with this new person, Scorpio. Um, they may tell you, this past person may tell you that they're going to leave their partner, but they're taking their sweet time. But there's, there's, there is a change that is going to come in, all right? And uh, you'll see this change around about August or September that this marriage is going to fall apart. It is. It's going to fall apart because of this person's, um, you know, behaviour. They may be trying to contain it, or they're giving the illusion of containing it, okay? But I think you, within your Scorpio, uh, high priestess energy, Scorpio, that you see things very, very clearly, okay? Yeah. I feel, Scorpio, that you are going to take a leap of faith with this other person, this new one, okay? Because I think you know that if you go backwards, it'll just be a destruction, you know. Unless this person came in with, with truth, clarity and honesty. Um, yeah. But this new person, you'll be traveling with them. You're going to be living together with them. There is just a lot of happiness of equal give and take. You feel a lot of trust in this person. Uh, they're going to show you that they, that you can trust them. I feel sad for you, Scorpio, because, um, you know, you had a lot of love for this past person. But it was, you know, these cards here, the, the three of cups, the three of swords and the moon card and, and the, the three of pentacles, three, three and three. You know, they were having affairs left, right and centre in the workplace, wherever you consider workplace. Third party energy everywhere. You know? And that is now very clear to you, Scorpio, with the moon, um, especially with the eclipse that happened well, yesterday in Australia, today probably on the other side of the world, that things are going to be very clear to you, Scorpio. You know, I want to tell you that this person is going to change, but um, no. And they're going to have a lot of regret losing you, Scorpio. They already have regrets of their actions towards you. The problem is that there's no change in this person for a long time, Scorpio. So you're wasting your time waiting. Move on to your Nine of Pentacles. This person is only putting you on ice. I feel like they left you while you were sleeping or uh, they walked away without you realising. Or while you were sleeping they were leaving to go do, go be with other people with the moon there. Yeah. You got a lot of brand new beginnings coming in Scorpio. Something's coming to an end. There's something new that is coming in for you. Okay. Focus on your work, Scorpio. This person is watching you. They're, they're, 
they're watching how you're progressing they're watching you move along and they're not even running in to stop it to stop it they're just leaving you to deal with your pain there was a lot of gossip about you scorpio a lot of interference people either you know or you don't know but all these interferences between you and this person okay but this new person you got somebody new that's coming in that's willing to put in the hard work and effort with you they'll put their arms around you scorpio they will form a family with you and this person will never leave you or betray you i can guarantee you that okay yeah this love between you and this person it's it's getting cold it's getting cold and it's very hard for you to to bring it back up so it's very hard for you to even form two words where you and this person used to talk for hours and for days and you know laughing and whatever you you do you can't find two words now to say but um you got options scorpio one of these options is going to turn out to be really good for you okay so we have the ace of cups we have the emperor this person could be a fire sign this person could be a no sign but it's definitely somebody who either works for themselves or has their own business and is financially stable and you will have your happily ever after scorpio okay sometimes we we want something and we we love it so much it's hard to let go but if it's gonna hurt you this much scorpio um Focus on yourself and keep going and you're definitely going to have a, quite a few options that, that is coming in. And uh, whoever this person is in your past that feels so secure in a marriage, well, good luck. It's not, it's not going to go any further than this year. I feel like 2024, this person will be single. They're behaving like they're single. They're going to manifest it and they will be single they will be found out if you can find out scorpio i don't know why their partner can't find out you know and you're not around this person 24 hours a day and yet they are so how could they not know or either they're turning a blind eye don't know which way it goes scorpio but this person has been lying to you for a long time especially when they tell you they're happy and they're they're successful and they're doing this and doing that. Yeah. They are happy to a certain extent, possibly in their workplace, but with everything else, they're not happy. And with any of these connections they have formed, Scorpio, they try and sort of like um, try and make the connection like you and them had it, um, but it doesn't, it's not going to work in their favour. Nobody is you, Scorpio. You are you. And this person is looking for you in other people and they don't realize it oh well what can i tell you scorpio other than you will be happy you will be very very happy with this new person okay i don't know whether they've come in yet into your life but uh, if they have that's good and if they haven't they're coming they are definitely coming you know and everybody is turns around and says oh, everybody tells me to be patient well you don't have to be patient you can go do whatever you want to do you know you want to go back to this past person go back to them but they're only going to leave you again um and still have other parties in between you and i know scorpio that you're a one-on-one -on -one person so you're not going to appreciate that you want to give your time and attention to one person and put all that love and effort into it. They want to self-sabotage this connection constantly. And yet you were a gift to this person when you first um, met each other. You actually manifested each other. Okay, but right person, wrong time, maybe. I don't know. But they can't get out of that ego play away, Scorpio. And it's only going to deplete you and make you feel... You know, but if they hold anybody in high honours, Scorpio, it is you. It is you. The respect, in it, it not, 
I want to say the respect, okay, that you may misinterpret that, okay, because of their player ways. But if they could change everything, Scorpio, they would be with you. If they could ch even change who they are, they would be with you. All right. But in saying that, Scorpio, this new person is looking really, really good. So just be patient for now, Scorpio. It will work in your favor. You just got to trust your guides and trust the universe and trust your, your journey, Scorpio. Okay. All right. We'll see you next time, Scorpio. Bye for now.